Hello and welcome to IFL's Crafter Noon on Facebook. Today we are going to be making string art. It's a fun and easy craft, but you are going to be using a hammer and nails, so watch your fingers. Let's go ahead and get started. For this project you will need a board. My board was 7.5 inches square by 1 inch thick. You will also need nails. I used a 16 gauge nail that was 1 and a quarter inches long. You will also need a hammer, scissors, yarn, scotch tape, and a pattern. I will link the pattern that I used in the comments below. You may also want a pair of pliers to hold the nails if you're afraid of hurting your fingers. The first thing you want to do is cut the pattern so it's just a little bit smaller than your board. You're going to use scotch tape to tape the pattern to the board so it won't move. You're then going to put a nail into each dot on your pattern. You want to make sure your nails go in straight and they're going to stick out of the board about a half an inch to three quarters of an inch. Just keep going putting nails in all of the black dots of your pattern. Now that we have all of the nails in we can go ahead and take the paper off the board. It's okay if it rips. Next we're going to take our yarn and tie it to one of the nails. I'm choosing the one at the very bottom of my heart just because I think it's going to be easier to get to. You can go ahead and trim that end. Now you're just going to choose nails randomly and go around until you have string around each nail at least one time. Some of the nails may have string around them more than once. You want to make sure that the string stays within the heart shape. So don't go between those two nails at the top, outside of the heart. Now that each nail has string around it at least one time, we're going to do the outline of the heart. I'm going to wrap the string around the nail one time the whole way around the outside. Sometimes your string is not going to cooperate and it's going to come off the nails. It's best if you hold it on each nail while you wrap it around the next one, just to make sure it doesn't come off.
I'm going to do the outline one more time, but this time I'm just going to go on the outside of the nails, except for this top one where I'll have to go wrap around, and then back around to the bottom. We're going to cut our yarn and tie off a knot at the bottom nail. You're just going to trim off that string and you have a unique piece of string art to place in your house. Thanks for watching and see you next time on IFL's Crafternoon on Facebook.